So it's a little bit of fun. I've been seeing a lot of chatter recently on LinkedIn and YouTube as on whether or not we should actually regulate not just artificial intelligence, but artificial super intelligence. Now, okay, cards on the table. My take is we should, however, we can't. However, we can. That's it. Now that's a little bit confusing, isn't it? Now consider this. Yeah. So when we actually have a look at trying to regulate just regular artificial intelligence, it's arguably taken some of the world's governments, not all of the world's governments, because the vast majority of the world's governments actually don't really have any form of AI regulation in place at all, not even guidelines. So when we actually have a look at things like the European AI Act, that actually took about three to four years to put together, but you could actually argue it's around 20 years too late. So when it actually comes to regulating regular artificial intelligence, politicians are notoriously not just bad, they are bloody awful. Now, consider this. We're already at the point in time where artificial intelligences are able to iterate themselves, design and optimize new algorithms, and even replicate themselves. But they don't just do this at human speed, they do this at light speed. Some of the companies that have been doing this are companies like Meta, Alibaba, Google and DeepMind and the usual kinds of suspects. So here we kind of have a conundrum. We have human regulation and human governments that on the one hand just simply do not understand what the technology is, let alone what it's actually capable of or what it's doing today. Then those same human governments take around, insert a couple of different numbers here, but X decades to actually get their butts in gear. And they're now trying to regulate, or they are being asked to regulate a technology that is increasingly developing very quickly. We won't say at light speed, but today's AIs are going to be very different to tomorrow's artificial intelligences and so on and so on and so forth. We've seen that with companies like OpenAI and so on and so forth. So on the one hand, for all those people who are talking about artificial super intelligence regulation, humans can't regulate those kinds of AIs that are able to evolve, optimize and replicate themselves at horrific scale and horrific speed. However, there is something that could regulate an ASI. Another ASI. So in my conversations with governments, basically we increasingly say that really the only way forward to regulate artificial intelligence is ironically with another artificial intelligence. So let's run a scenario. We've just created an artificial super intelligence. We have no idea what it does and essentially we are the intellectual equivalents of its pet cat. Maybe its pet amoeba if you actually listen to Elon Musk. Now, the only way that we can really try to understand what this ASI is actually capable of is by using another artificial super intelligence or superior intelligence to run risk simulations, analyze it, do all these kinds of things. And then once the other, the policeman ASI has figured out what some of the risks are associated with this ASI, then in real time it can actually write policies and regulations to control that artificial intelligence. But then once we've regulated that artificial intelligence, it's no good unless we can monitor the artificial intelligence. And it's no good monitoring the artificial intelligence if we can't actually control it or influence its behaviors. So this is an entire conundrum basically that no one is really talking about because frankly, it's just too difficult. And in the meantime, I look forward to OpenAI developing AGI in 2028 and welcome our overlords with open arms. Just remember, futurists are the friends of artificial superintelligence. And as for the rest of you, I suggest you actually get in line because God knows basically what an unregulated artificial superintelligence will do to you all. And that's it from me. Goodbye.